right, this is Cyclocross Magazine. We're here with Gary Smith of Independent Fabrications. He's here to tell us about his TIE Factory Lightweight Cross Bike. Sure, thanks, Andrew. Um, well, this is the latest member of our TIE Factory Lightweight Series. Um, and the Factory Lightweight Series is an homage to 60s era muscle cars where you basically take something and strip out all the unnecessary um, weight and basically get it down to a pure race machine. So mostly titanium with an integrated carbon seat tube that is part of the ISP system. It features our tie topper um, with three centimeters of adjustability. Um, in this case, cross version, we decided to make it a disc brake version. As everybody knows, the use of nine and a half disc brakes. Um, stuck with a 135 rear standard so that we have a uh, higher choice of wheels. In this case, we're using a custom built set of uh, NB Composite 65s with White Industries disc hubs. Uh -huh. um, Hayes new CX-5 mechanical disc brake, specifically right. made for cross. Um, Shimano's CX-70 cross-specific mini group, yep. which is the cross-specific crank set, top pull derailleur, which is really nice because you don't have to have the pulley anymore, which yeah. is one less thing to worry about. Also part of that mini group is their caliper brakes, which in this case we didn't need them. Right. Um, went with the Shimano Ice Series uh, rotors, which is a, a bi-laminated rotor, um, super strong, doesn't overheat. Pro Vibe Series cockpit. It's a great all around lightweight disc cross machine. Now, this bike was entered into the Best Cycle Cross Bike for NAVS, correct? It was. Is it built for a customer or is it uh, built just for the show? Nope, this is actually the only bike that we have here that is not built for a specific customer. So, we built this to a stock 56 geometry. Uh huh. Um, but, uh, so, some lucky person could actually buy this. They could. Yeah. They could. And this will be a production model. It is. It is. Um, yeah, we, we introduced the road type factory lightweight about a year and a half ago. Uh -huh. And then last year we actually followed up with a single speed mountain version of it that won best take motor bike. Right. And now we're following up with the cross bike. So. Now you guys build in a lot of different materials. Is tie your most popular or is it still steel? By volume, tie is actually taken over. It's, uh, oh wow. Yeah, steel is actually, you know, hold its own, but tie is where most of the growth has come from. And then, right. Three years ago, we launched an all-carbon model. Uh -huh. um, and last year, if you remember, we had a single-speed belt drive carbon cross bike here. Right. And this is the first time in three years I haven't had an all-carbon frame in the booth, so wow. which is fine. Is that a sign of trend? No, it's just you know there's not a lot of science to what we bring. It's just yeah. kind of what's current, right? You know, in the, in the mix and what moves us at any point in time. So you know, we've had. Uh, the carbon bikes in the booth for the last three years just didn't make the cut this year. Right, awesome. So Independent Fabrications has a long history. It used to be in Somerville, Massachusetts, mm -hmm. and I understand it's now in New Hampshire? Yeah, we moved in July of 2011 to a, um, a renovated 1869 mill that we completely stripped and built out to our purposes, put in a whole new paint system. Uh, we now have a showroom and a retail store. Uh -huh. So we're pretty excited. It's a great, great place. And, um, the crew really loves it. Awesome. Pretty happy. We can ride out the front door, which is really important. Is there a lot of good road riding and mountain bike riding? Awesome. Yeah. Um, you know, there's some of the best trail systems are just down the road, Exeter Woods. Right. And, um, and the road riding is just, you know, it's like any rural movement area. It's just endless. You know, sure. So we're hey. still less than an hour from Boston. So. Right. Now regarding this bike, if someone is to place an order, is it custom geometry or it's all stock or do you have we either any, option? Yeah, we don't make any stock bikes per se. I mean, we have stock geometry tables that right. we would use, uh -huh. um, but every bike is built to order for a customer. I see. Uh, in terms of the bottom bracket, are you going with uh, uh, some of the new oversized standards for yeah, most this, of your bottom brackets? This particular bike was built with a BB30, although we're using an adapter because it's a Shimano. Uh, but this particular Frank, adapter right. is unique because it allows you to use the Shimano um, external cups. Right. Um, and so you're not compromising on the integrity of what Shimano wanted their crank to be run with. Sure. Um, but yeah, in, particularly for this bike where we're using an inch and three quarter down to the bigger bottom bracket shell gives us more real estate uh, for welding and, and joinery and it also results in a stiffer bike. Got it. Um, now you're a pretty busy man. You run a couple other businesses too. You want to tell us about those? Sure. Well, I, I have a little help. My wife actually runs Bailey Works. Uh huh. Um, which is our bank business. And then, of course, we have a new uh, showroom in 
to fix the you know, foam light factory, which is uh, you know, where we get to display our bags, our IFs, and also we carry Ridley bicycles there. Um, primarily for their cross product, which they're well known for, as well as their aero product for a triathlete right. consumer that we're not going to serve with IF. Right. So, um, it's actually a really nice mix. So if someone's in New England and they want to get fit for a IF bike, they could come into your shop and Absolutely. Get... Awesome. Great. Well, thanks for uh, coming to the show and showing us your bike. Thanks, Andrew. Appreciate it. Thanks.